Hi everyone, today we're simulating. Hi everyone, today we're simulating the unboxing of the Sakai FW43 cargo cart. This is a 48 inch long cargo cart or 4 foot and it has a substantial weight capacity of 440 pounds, which is quite substantial. So we are simulating it because I did unbox it, took all the footage, and then promptly lost it a few days ago. So we're going to try and recreate that experience for you, just for you guys. All right, so over here we see that it weighs 13 kilograms. That's the weight of the cart itself. So let's open it and see what's inside. So at the top we have the brochure and instruction manual. So well, we look at it from this side. Over here we have their range of different carts with all the different specifications. We get inside. We see a note that when we open the cart, we're going to see a bar where there's a dimple in it and they tell us, don't worry about that, that's not a manufacturing defect, that is just the way it is designed. And over here we see how to unbox it, unload it and operate it. So let's take out the cart itself and see what it's like. There was a plastic bag, a clear plastic bag that covered it all, but then I threw that away. So just imagine that it's there. Over here we have a khaki color. It also comes in a black and also a bluish gray color as well. So now to take it out, we've opened the top. We don't have to flip it over because it doesn't want to come out easily by pulling it out. So we're gonna flip that over, lay it down. There we have it. Now one thing that is a good surprise is, you know, you can see the wheels, they're very substantial, a nice large diameter, and very wide as well, so to have tape measure, you can see the wheels are uh, about six and a half inches in diameter and about three and a half inches wide, so they look Substantial enough for good tra travel, traversing over, you know, less than ideal uh, surfaces. However, you never know when you take this into a beach. You know, sand has its own difficulty. So it might be easy, might be hard. Also depends on how heavily loaded it is. But overall, I'd say I like the look of the wheels. So over here we have the mat that is going to be placed at the base of the cargo area. It's going to put that aside for the time being. And we'll flip it over once again. So we do have this storage cover over here. It's just to keep it nice and pretty and uh, neat when we store it. You can see the label of the front. It's got some pockets over here. And I suppose this pocket is... Yeah, I never thought of that before, but... You can place the floor mat in here. That's perfect. I guess that's what it's for. All right. So to take off the cover, we have a zip over here, so you undo the zip, but really, you don't really need to. Just pull it out, it comes out easily. But if it does give you trouble, you can do that. And we can see that it is held together by a belt, a, vel a Velcro strap belt. So we can pull this apart. You can see there's a buckle over here. So we've got the belts apart, beat those down, and then to expand it, you just pull it apart. You can see the accordion uh, trusses over here, and at the bottom as well. So you know, you just pull it apart and it expands, and it's pretty much ready to use. So just put, pull it, pull it down, and there we have an operational cart that only needs. It's a little floor. So, stand it out, put it down on the face. And you're good to use it. So now, looking at how you pull it, we have a handle over here. It doesn't go from side to side, it keeps straight up. And you can extend it out. We have a, a retainer over here, so to 
retract it, you press this down and you can push it back in. But this keeps it extended over here. The wheels, the front wheels are free rotating. And I believe you can see how it comes in and out over here. I think that's just for packaging. All right, it feels very solid. Very happy with it. And it's meant to carry 440 pounds, so can it support me? I'm pretty heavy, so. <laughs> Let's see, I'm probably gonna have to knee with it. So I don't stress any particular point. Yeah. Seems to be supporting me pretty well. Oh. You know, just add a motor to it and it should be able to turn it into a, a decent go-kart. But that's not what we want. Alright. Oh, it's going to be impossible to come out of here. <laughs> How are we going to do this? Oh. I can tell you the children will love this, absolutely. Alright, can we see any features around? You can see that there are two drink bottle holders at the front ones, bottle holders actually. I don't think there's anything else to see. Okay, look at the back. And over here is the dimple, the two dimples that they're talking about. So these are not manufacturing defects, so don't freak out if you see those. Uh, so let's check out the load. Uh, capacity and dimensions. So we're going to take out a tape measure and measure the length. And from what I can see, it is not quite 48 inches. I'll say it's 46 inches. So you're missing a couple of inches there. And it doesn't seem to want to expand easily. So I think it's safe to say that you'd have to really squeeze and you know possibly damage your cart in order to stop something that's. 48 inches in here, but you can light diagonally across, so you should be good with that. Across, we can see it is about 20, but it can be pushed out to 21 inches. And in height, we are looking at about 15 inches. So there are your dimensions. You know, it's also worth noting that these corners over here eat into the cargo space, so you know, if you need to fit something that's that wide, you know, from end to end, then you might have a small issue. But then, really, are you going to do that? So yeah, there it is. Looks great. We're going to put this to the test, see how well it performs. This is going to be very useful for me when I travel to a site location and I need to carry a lot of equipment from the car across a field to where I'm setting up. I don't have to make 20 trips, although the 20 trips is probably going to be good for my exercise. So yeah, there you have it. So how do we pack it up? So we just remove the cargo floor. The cargo floor is you know, folded up, put that aside. So now to pack this up, first of all we have to retract the handle. Now to collapse everything, you can see there's a strap here. With the handle you just pull on it and that pulls up the structure below. I'm going to try and keep this low. Now these really should go... Hmm. I can see that they're velcro over here so I wonder why... Okay so these are not necessarily in place so you have to make sure they're in place when you're carrying cargo. That's interesting. So we're collapsing it. When you're collapsing it, make sure that the wheels are turned inwards and they're facing, you know, straight ahead. Because once it's collapsed, you know, you're not going to be able to rotate them again unless you expand it again. Ask me how I know. So, yeah. Until it's fully, you know, packaged in, you know, you have to keep an eye on the wheels. Then we have our belt over here, so we're going to pull on the belt by making sure our tires are still oriented in the right way. We've got our buckle over here. So just squeeze everything, put the belt through the buckle and then just pull the net 
there's a velcro pad over here. The velcro is over here, so you have to pull to reach it. You can just, you know, settle it anywhere, but then it's not too hard. So there we have it all secured. And with that done, I'm gonna put the cover over it. And finally, our floor mat goes into place. So, I'm just gonna slip it in here. And there you have it, the Sakai FW43. So if you like it, please like, subscribe, go out and get yourself one. I should mention that these things are not the cheapest uh, things to buy. I believe this was close to about $150. So that is a chunk of change. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.